Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. In this video, we've reached the city of Houston, Texas. From this point onward, US 90 runs either concurrent or very close to I-10 all the way to San Antonio. But there's an alternate route of US 90 and that's the one we're going to take for the next 177 miles. After exiting I-10, we immediately miss our turn. The guide sign intended for cars on North Wayside Drive are twisted and pointed at us, leading us to believe that we're supposed to go straight here rather than turn left. So we made a small detour. Oh, that sign is Now we're back on US 90 alternate and heading into town. This historic community is called Denver Harbor, first settled in 1890 and platted in 1911 and 1913. The community includes many historic bungalow and cottage homes. On June 1st, 1939, the word podunk was mysteriously written on the side of the local water tower. The city tried repeatedly to cover the word. However, the name would always reappear within days. Inspired by the defiance of the sign's unknown painter, area residents soon began to identify as podunkers. The name was adopted by a local youth basketball team known as the Podunk Skunks. The name was in reference to how Denver Harbor was considered to be out of the way. In 2005, local resident Dr. Jay Grady self-published 2,000 copies of his book, Where the Hell is Podunk, Texas? Texas's Official Mythical Town. This viaduct crosses 14 railroad tracks owned by Union Pacific and used by the Houston Belt and Terminal Railway, as well as the Port Terminal Railroad Association connected with nearby Port Houston. This bridge crosses the Houston Ship Channel, an artificially widened and deepened natural waterway called Buffalo Bayou. The channel is the conduit for ocean-going vessels between Houston area terminals and the Gulf of Mexico, and it serves an increasing volume of inland barge traffic. we enter a district called the Greater East End. The district is home to Houston's early history in industry and is the site of Harrisburg, the seat of government for the Republic of Texas in 1836. The area includes two of Houston's oldest Hispanic neighborhoods, Magnolia Park and Second Ward.
We cross under Interstate 45, known as the Gulf Freeway on the section that connects Galveston and Houston. Here, we enter a neighborhood called Pine Valley, the third largest super neighborhood of Southeast Houston. Here, US 90 alternate turns to the right, away from Wayside Drive, and the name becomes Old Spanish Trail, named for the 100-year-old coast-to-coast auto trail that originally followed this route. When the US highway system came to be, US 90 roughly followed the auto trail for most of its length. The present day all-volunteer Old Spanish Trail Centennial Celebration Association, OST100, is collecting oral histories, travel logs, and news articles related to the Old Spanish Trail in order to conserve the roadways, businesses, and historic sites of the original Old Spanish Trail Auto Highway, both physically and in the memory of the American people. A decade-long centennial celebration for the Old Spanish Trail is planned, beginning in 2019, concluding in 2029, with a motorcade grand finale from St. Augustine, Florida to San Diego, California. And you can bet that we will do whatever we can to be part of that and share the video on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe now and hit that bell icon so you'll get the notification when we start posting those videos in 11 years. See the description for a link. After waiting out this long traffic signal, we seriously sat here for almost three minutes, although we trimmed the video a bit to save time. We cross Martin Luther King Boulevard and the Houston Metro Rail Purple Line, which runs up the median. Here, US 90 forms the border between Southeast Houston on the left and South Central Houston on the right. We'll conclude today's video here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. Share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.